So hi my friends, uh, we're gonna do a photo electric sensor. Uh, this house, you see these lights are on, these path lights are on, and it's the middle of the day. Uh, it's an older guy in the house and he didn't know uh, if it was a timer or, or how these lights were controlled. So I did some poking around and um, actually found a timer inside, thought it was that timer because it's old and it wasn't working, so I disconnected it and these lights were still on. So I did some more poking around and I found uh, way back in the bushes there, let me see if I can get you guys back here. I found the photoelectric sensor that controls these lights and you may have to look around for this stuff because it could have been here for decades. Okay, so here we're coming back here, right? It's all covered with ivy and stuff. This is it right here and when these go bad, um, usually the lights stay on when, when they go bad, but not all the time. The lights could be off. So I've got, oh my God, how did I get stuck in here? And this is a thorn bush right here. So I've got a replacement photoelectric. I'll show that to you. Went out and we're going to put the new one in. The wires up the same. There's three wires. This is the replacement. It's a photoelectric. The white and the black go to the white and the black from the house electric. And the red goes to the lights black. And the, uh, the whites all get hooked together. It's really, you just put it in the way the old one came out. And there's like a wiring diagram in sight anyway. All the whites go together. The black goes to the black from the house. The red goes to the black from the lights. And uh, we'll get it done without shutting the power off. You just have to watch out for that black wire coming from the house. Because that's the one with the juice in it. Here we go back in the bushes. Now this bush here, right in front of this freaking thing. It's like a, uh, uh, it's a thorn bush, so we're going to trim it. Okay, so taking these, uh, we got to take this cover off, so there's two screws here. The, so we got to kind of be careful, and I'm going to do that, uh, I'm going to do that trick I'm going to show you here for all the rusty screws because uh, they can break. I'm going to loosen, tighten, loosen. We're going to just like knock the rust off. Or also... Oh, this one. All right, we got this, uh, we got this bottom screw out. Put it in the pocket. Now this cover is going to come off. Okay. And... Here we go, I told you, white, black, red, and we're just gonna hook it up. The new sensor, the same way this old sensor is. So you pull these wires out of this box here. This is just an old foam rubber. We can put like cork around there or some weatherproof tape or something just to keep the water out. And, okay, so this black one's gonna have the juice in it, so we're gonna, do that last. And if we can, just take these old wire nuts off. Okay. And as we take them off, okay, I'm going to stick this one over here and I'm going to remember that's my red one. And all, all the whites go together, so that's not an issue. And this one is going to be the black to black. Okay, so I'm going to set this over here. Okay, and I'm going to put this cap back on it just to remind me that was black to black. Now here's our cover. We just kind of unscrew this. And I know you guys are saying, like, you know, hey, it's an old guy. How come you're charging them 125 bucks? You know, it's taking you 10 minutes. Well, look, first off, I work for myself. No one is paying my retirement, my pension, my sick days, my vacation days, anything like that. It's all on me. That's number one. Number two is... Uh, I mean, I had to make time out of my day to come here and do this, drive here, drive away, and, um, and 
and I could have been somewhere else making the money. So, and then number three is uh, I had to find this stupid thing. He didn't know where it was. I had to find it. And, uh, <clears throat> and number four, my skill and knowledge. Um, okay, so this one was the red one over here. Okay, so we just we kind of twist this clockwise, hold it next to the other wire, and screw our pigtail on till it's nice and snug. Okay, then we're gonna take the white, and the same thing. We're gonna twist this clockwise. We're gonna hold it next to all the whites. We're gonna put that bigger wire nut on here because you can see this is actually three wires bundled. Okay. Now, the last one I left it capped is the black to black. We're gonna put a new wire nut and twist this to the right, hold it next to it, and twist it on. Now, because this thing is active now, it's, our lights are probably going to be off at this point. We could take a look over here. Uh, okay, well, we're going to give it a minute because it has to get used to the light. These photoelectric sensors don't work instantly. So we're going to give it a minute. But those lights should be going off in a minute. Um, just to double check that that is actually the circuit, I'm going to pull this one and we're going to take a look. Let's go take a look. Okay. okay, see they are off. So it's just that this photoelectric is warming up. Sometimes they take a couple of minutes. And a good way to test these things, if you want to test it, that it actually works. Like if you're going to change bulbs in the middle of the day or something, you could take the old photoelectric, wherever it is, I don't know where it is. But you could put a piece of tape over the front and make it think. Put a piece of tape over the front that, you know, heavy duty tape that light can't get through and make it think that it is nighttime. All right, so look, we're gonna take these wires now and we're gonna tuck them back in the box. Just neatly stick them in there. Oh. Three. Now we're gonna put this cover back on. Okay. And I dropped one screw, so I'm gonna have to go to the truck and get one. I think these are like eight, eight twenty-fours or something like that. Right. But I gotta get a piece of tape anyway to cover this seam so the water doesn't get in. Okay. All right. So uh, unless I can find that screw I dropped. Oh, you're such an idiot. Uh, right, there it is. There it is. Look and you will find. Okay, so we're almost done with this. Now, you may want to adjust this too so it picks up. Now, this is like a shady area here. Um, that might be good, but I would probably want it like angled up a little bit. So, we're going to, uh, I don't know if you saw, okay, so look, you, you turn it the way you want, and then this right here is a locking nut. You could take it and tighten it up to lock it in place. Okay, and um, still don't like, I think that's a better position anyway, so let's just, uh, let's just turn it back the way it was. I think it gets more light through there. Okay, I think that's better. That's better, although I want, now you could also swivel these things out. All right, I think that's a perfect position. Tighten up this lock nut. Okay, I'm just gonna put a piece of weatherproof tape over there and we're done. As we're walking out of here, we should see by now that the lights went off with the photoelectric control. See, they're off. Okay, we're good. That job is done, basically. And, and it was this light, 
those two and that one are all controlled. We're going to seal up this, this box so the water doesn't get in. Okay. Okay. Here we go, fellows. My fellow YouTube users and here's the, uh, the old photoelectric. Take it with us. This could go in our electronic recycling bucket in the handyman zone because we're a green, we're a green handyman. All right, my friends. I hope I helped you out today. You know the only reason I make these videos is because I'm a paid YouTube partner. I'm actually a legacy paid YouTube partner. But the second reason I make the videos because I really enjoy helping a modern day housewife, the stay at home mom, the single mom, the working mom, get things done. Because I know how modern day man is basically they can't do anything. I mean, they may have their, pass their pharmacy boards or uh, pass their law exam or they did their internship and their doctors and dentists, whatever, but they can't change a light bulb and that's some serious business there. So uh, I know who it's left to. It's left to you women. And uh, you know, YouTube has the foresight enough to see that they are actually the future of information in this coming century and they want people like me sharing my information and they're willing to pay me to do it so here I am so look sub because it's the handyman zone and this is all the kind of stuff I do I got hundreds of videos thousands of subscribers Hundreds and hundreds of thousands of views very close to a million views is gonna come up. I think before the first of the year and uh, So sub rate the video because all of that interaction with the video and leaving comments and stuff It helps me out with YouTube. It knocks me up in the search engine So when people are looking for stuff I'll show up better positioned and that'll help me be more successful. So thanks for that. See you later um...